if we want these teachers to go and be models and role models for our students in camp next week, we want to get them as excited about STEM and real world problem solving and engineering and technology because if they're excited about it and the kids come, then the kids are going to get excited about it. They're getting trained so that way next week when Makerspace Camp start, they will already have a better understanding of what STEM is and what LPS's vision of STEM is being that it's a hands-on, real-world experience, activities, and lessons. I'm glad that they actually do put this on because we get to feel how the kids will feel. We can feel the frustrations the kids might feel, the happiness, the excitement. We feel all of that, and we know how to do things a little bit differently. So if the kids don't get it one way, we probably know how to do it a different way so the kids will understand it. The more understanding they have of the background and the knowledge, uh, whether it be circuits and robots, whether it be coding, whether it be forensics and fingerprints, the more they understand and, uh, and feel excited about it, then the kids will get that also and they will feed off of that. As a teacher, you always want to find different ways to reach your students and this is one way that I can reach my students. I mean, I'm already seeing ways I can use this in my classroom today, so, or next school year. Anytime you can get grown adults to lay on the floor and scream and get excited because they just built a robot or because they did something really cool in eSports, just imagine what the kids are going to get to do because again, this is an appetizer. The kids get the full course.